So the first thing we'll do is that we have to build a timer component, okay? So what I, as I showed you before, the app is composed of the number, like the huge timer, and then the buttons, all right? This com container is gonna be called timer, all right? So to do this, I'm going to create a new folder and I'm gonna call this folder component, components, components. Inside of the folder components, I'm going to create another folder called timer. And inside of timer, I'm going to create a file called index.js. Awesome. And here I start to do stuff. So I'm going to import react from react, but I'm also going to import component. All right, I'm going to import a view, some text from React Native. All right, and also a style sheet. Style sh sheet. All right, awesome. I will create a new class, class timer extends component and I'm gonna make a render method and I'm going to return some stuff later. Before that, I will say export default timer because I want to export it, all right? Nice, so return. All right, so what I will do is that I will create, first of all, one big view. And this big view is going to have two views inside of it. First one view here and, oh, and second view. All right, upper view, lower view. So here I'm going to create a styles. Style sheet, x create. And I'm going to say container first. And then upper view. And then lower view. All right, lovely. So in, uh, let's do, instead of, oh, let's close it automatically, fuck, no problem view awesome inside of the first view i am going to open a text component right and this text component i'm going to call it time so here i'm going to say for example this text right and i'm going to call this time sweet and lower here i am going to create a new time uh, a new text but this one is just a placeholder because i would say buttons here i'm going to create buttons later text. All right, so let's, tell, let's start baptizing these fuckers. I'm going to name them all at the same time. Style. Styles. And then one by one. Container. Upper. Time. Lower. And this one, don't care. All right. I will save this thing and it's not working yet. I mean, I'm not calling it here. I'm going to go to app.js and on app.js, instead of this, I'm going to say import timer from, from where is it? Components slash timer, all right? The reason I'm doing this is because I have an index file inside. So by default, Node.js is going to look for index files inside of the folders, all right? That's what it has to be named index. And I, have, I, and I have to export it here, as you can see. All right, so everything is good. Uh, expo import timer, so I'm going to delete everything here. And I'm going to return just one timer. I'm going to save, and this is going to update. And as you can see here, it says the timing and buttons. Now, if you're wondering, how did this update by himself without refreshing? Well, you will click on your simulator you will click command you will type command d on your mac or control d on your um, windows and you will get a developer menu of expo what am i why what i'm i am doing here is called hot reloading hot reloading updates the code that changes instead of updating the whole app all right close okay i'm going to delete the styles of this app because we don't care about it we are good okay Let's just start painting this thing, all right, shall we? Let's do it. So first, let's just start assigning sizes. Flex one, this one also has a flex, maybe upper has a flex one, we'll change it later. And also flex one. All right. 
save. Now we're good. Now the container has a background color. I'm gonna make it red, all right? And I have the color over here. The color is CE0B24, comma. Done. Awesome. Now, upper, upper has, uh, I think both of them, upper and lower. Upper and lower has a justify content of center. Let's see. Yeah. And align items of center. If you don't know what align items is in a flex stuff, you need to go to the React Native course. If you don't know what we uh, justify, align, and everything, you need to go to the Cacao uh, course. All right, we're good. Uh, yep. I think that I want to give more, uh, I don't want to put this in the center, the buttons. Uh, let's make, first, let's make the time big. So I'm going to say that the color of the time is white. Let's see. All right. And now I'm going to give the time a font size of maybe 120 pixels. Boom, motherfucker. All right, and now this is very fat. So I would say font weight, 300. Ah, late, 100. Awesome. All right, we're good. Okay, now I want to put the timer a little bit lower. This means I'm going to increase the upper one to have a two one. All right, now the upper one is bigger because it has a flex of two. Sweet. The last thing I need is that it looks bad on black. So I'm going to say uh, status bar from React Native because React Native is awesome. And I will do status, status bar. And the status bar has a very nice uh, props. One is that you can hide it. The other one is that you can change the style. So in status bar, I will say bar style. And I will say that this status bar is for light, oh, sorry, light content. Save, and now it's light. You can also hide it if you want. I wanna leave it there because it's kinda cool to see the hour and the time. I don't wanna be a dick to my users. And uh, what else? We are good. We are good to go. So that is the timer component, ladies and gentle ladies. And that's it. All right. So I will see you in the next one where we are going to build the button here. We're going to have a button that will say stop or pause, depending on the state of the app. So as you can see right now, we're just doing React. We're not doing anything of Redux. Redux will come and blow your brains later. See you soon.